One of my favorite Bible verses is found in Romans 8, 28. There the Apostle Paul said this, And we know that all things work together for good, to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. All things work together for good, Paul says. And Scripture bears that out. Let me give you one great example. In the book of Acts, right after a follower named Stephen was killed for his faith, the writer says, At that time, a great persecution arose against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except for the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Therefore, those who were scattered went everywhere and preached the word of God. Do you see what happened there? Stephen was stoned to death for his faith. Now, I think you'd agree that's not a, a good thing. There was a great persecution unleashed against the church. Not good either. The church was scattered, and Saul begins a tirade against the church, casting church members into prison. Now, none of these things by themselves are good. But in the middle of all these things, God shows up and uses them together for good. How? Well, the Bible says those who were scattered went everywhere preaching the word of God. See, as a result of all this persecution, all this turmoil, the word of God was preached everywhere, souls were saved, and the church grew as a result. So let me encourage you today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's piling up against you, that God is true to his promise, and he's using all these things together for good.